Dorothy and the Scarecrow Adapted from The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum A girl called Dorothy lived in a small wooden house in the grasslands of Kansas, USA. One day, a big storm carried away her house while she and her dog Toto were in it. Her house landed in a strange place. Dorothy saw some people coming her way. They were adults, but only as tall as her. They said that they were the munchkins and this was their land. They were nice to her, but could not tell her how to get back home. A good witch who was with the munchkins said that a powerful wizard, the great Oz, might be able to help her. So Dorothy and Toto set off on their journey to meet Oz. There was a great cornfield beyond the fence and not far away, Dorothy saw a scarecrow placed high on a pole to stop birds from eating the ripe corn. Resting her chin upon her hand, Dorothy looked carefully at the scarecrow. Its head was a small sack filled with straw, with eyes, nose and mouth painted on it to make it look like a face. An old pointed blue hat of a munchkin was on the scarecrow's head. An old and faded blue suit of clothes was filled with straw to make the scarecrow's body. On the feet were some old boots with blue tops, such as every man wore in this country. And the scarecrow was raised above the thin stems of corn by a pole stuck up its back. While Dorothy was looking at the strange painted face of the scarecrow, she was surprised to see one of the eyes slowly wink at her. She thought she must have been mistaken. None of the scarecrows she had seen before had ever winked. But then the scarecrow nodded to her in a friendly way. Dorothy walked up to it while Toto ran around the pole and barked. Good day, said the scarecrow. Did you speak? asked the girl in wonder. Certainly answered the scarecrow. How do you do? I am pretty well, thank you, replied Dorothy politely. How do you do? I am not feeling well, said the scarecrow with a smile, because it is very boring being placed up here to scare away crows all day long. Can't you get down? asked Dorothy. No, this pole is stuck up my back. If you will please take away the pole, I shall be very grateful to you. Dorothy lifted the scarecrow off the pole. Being stuffed with straw, it was quite light. Thank you very much, said the scarecrow when he had been set down on the ground. I feel like a new man. Dorothy was puzzled at this, for it sounded strange to hear a stuffed man speak and to see him bow and walk along beside her. Who are you? asked the scarecrow, when he had stretched himself and yawned. And where are you going? My name is Dorothy, said the girl, and I am going to Emerald City to ask the great Oz to send me back to my home. Where is Emerald City? he inquired. And who is Oz? Why, don't you know? she asked in surprise. No, indeed. I don't know anything. You see, I am stuffed, so I have no brains at all, he answered sadly. Oh, said Dorothy, I am awfully sorry for you. Do you think, he asked, if I go to Emerald City with you, that Oz would give me some brains? I cannot tell, she replied, but you may come with me if you like. If Oz will not give you any brains, you will remain the same as you are now. That is true, said the scarecrow. You see, he continued, I don't mind my legs and arms and body being stuffed because I cannot get hurt. If anyone steps on my toes or sticks a pin into me, it doesn't matter, for I can't feel it. But I do not want people to call me a fool. And if my head stays stuffed with straw instead of with brains, as yours is, how am I ever to know anything? I understand how you feel, said the little girl, who was truly sorry for him. If you will come with me, 
I'll ask Oz to do all he can for you. Thank you, he answered gratefully. They walked back to the road. Dorothy helped him climb over the fence and they started along the yellow brick road for Emerald City. Toto did not like this addition to the party at first. He smelled around the stuffed man as if he suspected there might be a nest of rats in the straw and he growled in an unfriendly way at the scarecrow. Don't mind Toto, said Dorothy to her new friend. He never bites. Oh, I'm not afraid, replied the scarecrow. He can't hurt the straw. Do let me carry that basket for you. I shall not mind it, for I can't get tired. I'll tell you a secret, he continued as he walked along. There's only one thing in the world I am afraid of. What is that? asked Dorothy. The munchkin farmer who made you? No, answered the scarecrow. It's a lighted match. <laughs>